Okay, we've got a selection of uh, different connect connecting rods here. Uh, starting with the first one, here is the uh, OEM 5 litre Galato Conrod. Okay, it's got a tapered small end, and that's simply to fit the, the same shape as the OEM 5 litre piston. You can see the piston uh, pin or gudgeon pin bores. Um, not the bores, but the, the bosses, if you like, that, that are forged in are tapered. So the, the tapered small end is to fit the same shape as the piston. That's, that's why that's that, the shape that it is. The forged uh, billet rods that we have made by Argo, one of the requirements when we had these rods made was that it needed to fit the OEM piston, which uh, was an important feature of the rod. It means that anyone could buy these rods and could fit them to uh, a 5 litre Gallardo without the requirement of replacing the pistons. They can use the OEM pistons that the engine comes with, which do thousands of miles and, and we never have any problems with them. So you can fit those, those con rods here to the 5 litre Gallardo without changing your pistons if they're in good condition. There's no, no reason why you, why you should have to change pistons or, or go to a custom piston, which are very expensive. Even the, even the OEM pistons are extremely expensive, so um, you should be able to get 10,000 miles out of these pistons in a race car if everything's built properly. The 5.2 litre, or the LP560 Conrod, um, they have gone to quite a bit of effort. As you can see here, they're no longer a fracture parted big end. It's um, machine parted. Um, you can see they've gone to some effort to dowel these conrods. When I, when I say dowel, okay, you can see these little dowel pins here. And they go into a corresponding hole just next to the bolt hole. So instead of being fracture parted, they're now, uh, I guess, closer to a, what I call a proper conrod. And at least they've gone to some effort to fix the problem that they had with the 5 litre. It's a heavier rod. When I say heavier, it's, it's, a, thicker, it's a stronger gauge material. Uh, it's a better material, slightly heavier rod, but but quite a bit stronger. We still won't use those in the in the uh, twin turbos or, or our high end race engines. Um, the GT3 has to retain these because it's it's part of the the rules that it, it needs to retain the OEM conrod. So, but certainly anything that's going to be revved really hard or produce high power, we go to the billet rod. So it's got the parallel small end. It's not tapered anymore. And you can see that the LP560 5.2 litre Gallardo doesn't run the tapered pin bosses anymore. It's, it's parallel, so, and you can see this one just fits down in here. Okay, so no need to go to the, and here's the, our forged uh, billet uh, LP560 rod. So this rod here replaces that one. And again, we don't have the taper on the small end. Okay, so you've seen the, the main difference between the, the powder rod, or the sintered rod, if you like, and, and the billet rod in the way that the caps go on the rod and, and the positive dowling and, and the extra machine work. Um, where do the OEM conrods or the original conrods break? Well, most of, or nearly all the time they break through here where the, where the beam meets the big end, um, which is a high stress point anyway. They just seem to be snapping and shearing straight through there. Not uncommon to to have a blown engine and we pull it down and the, the big end is, is still intact on the crankshaft and the, and the bearing shells. Okay, two of these bearing shells per conrod. So as a pair. Okay, one in the top half, the main body and, and one in the cap and they come together. So they're the bearings. So it's not uncommon to pull a, a, an expired engine apart and find that the big end is still bolted in situ on the, on the Conrod journal and the bearings are still intact, bolts still intact and, and the bearings are in quite fine condition. It's just, it's just simply sheared uh, and broken the Conrod. Other scenarios we've had is that the rods are bending. If they don't break, they will bend. Sometimes it's just a very slight bend. You, you can't see it by eye, but obviously anything that gets a bend, it becomes shorter from the centre of the big end to the centre of the small end. So when you bend, bend something, it's, it's going to get shorter. And so there are some cars that we've found are not quite running right on 10 cylinders and very hard to pick by ear, but you can hear it. And 
we find that that's the problem. Because it's shorter, the piston isn't coming up quite so far in the cylinder bore, which is reducing compression, which means it's not running quite so well on that cylinder as the other nine. It gives a, a funny sort of a, a misfire, and you can hear it. Um, if they get a bit of a twist in the, in the rod, which is another problem, the piston runs on its kind of on its side, and, and that's running a, a high load on one side of the cylinder bore, and it's wearing a groove in the bore, if you like, and then what's happening is, is oil is coming up past the piston rings and getting on top of the, the piston. It's oiling the spark plug and we're also seeing a little bit of blue oil smoke out of the exhaust pipe just puffing a little bit of smoke.